Well, it's Wednesday morning, folks. Time to get up, and uh, we're excited to say it's time for another KSL High Five shout-out, which highlights the great people of Utah helping people, and today there are children who will not go hungry thanks to some very caring volunteers. We always have opportunities for volunteers, community volunteers, um, corporate volunteers, and there's a lot of ways to get involved. Michelle Benedict is the director of USANA Kids Eat. That's part of USANA's nonprofit arm that aims to help children who may not be sure where their next meal is coming from. Employees recently got together to pack 3,000 bags in one day to make sure the kids have food during the summer months. Now, these bags also help them get through the weekends during the typical school year, so it really has an immediate impact on so many young people. We do uh, work all over the world, charity work all over the world, feeding hungry kids. But our local program is USANA Kids Eat. And we serve lots of schools across the Wasatch Front, providing food bags for kids on weekends. And it's just great to see the good here at home, right? How many schools, though? Michelle told me 73 local schools and clubs, like the Boys and Girls Clubs, for example, benefit from USANA Kids Eat. Uh, so we have to say a huge thank you and a high five to those great volunteers spending their own time to help out. Uh, they love to get volunteers to pack bags, volunteer drivers, uh, even sponsors where you can adopt a specific school. Their West Valley address is there on the screen. You can get more information on how to donate, usonakidseat.org. Again, keep in mind, pandemic restrictions might change the way that they handle the volunteer signups as far as donating your time. They always accept monetary donations as well as they would like your help in that regard too. But uh, high five. Uh, we'll do kind of that virtual high five folks out there at uh, USANA helping those kids through some tough times. So uh, thank you for what you do. Absolutely.